World Post was born out of a contradiction and a paradox. The contradiction is the more the world becomes interdependent, the more the media is renationalizing, relocalizing, and even tribalizing. So the paradox is that the information age is becoming the age of non-communication. And our real aim is to realize what everyone always says, but it's not actually true, that the internet is a global thinking circuit. The internet is global and it's a circuit, but it's not thinking. And we hope to, uh, to make that middle word uh, a reality with World Post. I think the World Post is uh, one of the few truly global media that exists around the world. And Nathan and Nicholas put together a great team and great group of contributors who contribute regularly to the World Post. So you have a very good mix of a very famous or interesting people you don't really get to see in other newspapers, but at the same time also common voices around the world. So far, the demand for this type of new journalism, I would say new global journalism, seems to be out there. Uh, since launching uh, last year, we now have 28 million monthly views. Conferences like this are part of the process. We are right now on the cusp of a third industrial revolution, a new convergence of communication, energy, and transport. It's not tomorrow morning, but every company that's smart is going to be both in the second and the third industrial revolution. This is a 40-year shift. See, what the extremists want is to divide our world along fault lines of religion and culture. But really what this fight is, is a fight between the civilized world and a bunch of crazy people who really want to take us back to medieval times. There's one word I'd like to see coming out of this conference, solidarity. We need solidarity, we need responsibility, and a new kind of thinking about a social safety net. People will take risks if they're secure. You know, I'll climb that mountain if I've got a rope and an experienced guy. Journalism has now become all the bad news <laughs> that's fit to print or to post. But we want to put an enormous amount of resources, energy, commitment to covering relentlessly and robustly all the good things that are happening. You know, the internet changes everything and it's had a huge impact on the media. And what World Post is trying to do is get new voices and new sources so that you can figure out what's really going on in the world. The World Post, in a world, as Eric said, where there's so much information, you have to try to pull it together. How do you pull it together in terms of thinking, in terms of reach? The World Post, I think, accomplishes both. Maybe the most important commodity still is all of us, humans and the um, strengths and the imagination of us as human beings.